Hello and welcome to Accelerated Sales Manager Pay Plan with Performa tutorial. Let's begin by opening the program. Simply double click the file. By design, the program will always open to the home page. Click anywhere in between the orange shaded rectangle on the home page and a password box will appear. Enter EDS and note that this password is case sensitive. You must use capital letters and this password may not be changed. We have two tabs. Let's fill out the new vehicle tab first. But before we do, let's take a look at what we see. We have two pages. Page 2 is the setup portion. As you can see, the setup area is minimal. It only takes a few minutes to set this up. What the result will be is two grids. We have a new vehicle grid and a used vehicle grid. Basically, it says here, note, this is only a guide to assist you in your formation of a true performance-based pay plan. The focus is on what a sales manager controls, sales volume and gross profit, both front and back. You determine the best possible percentages in the new and used grids to influence your behaviors in order to maximize both sales volume and gross profit. Makes a lot of sense, but when you look at a lot of uh, pay plans that sales managers on, they don't have the right degree of focus. This will give it to you. It all ha also has a degree of weight uh, for the new vehicle sales manager on the profitability of the used vehicle department. You're going to determine in this program what that amount of percentage should be. And we'll see that based on the performance. So let's start our setup process. So in this example, we're going to say that we want to set the outer limit for uh, front and back profit per, per vehicle. Let's say it's $3,100. So now we need to determine the spread. Over here, we have some default spreads. You can type in whatever you like or use one of the defaults. We're going to use 299. Now we need to set our sales volume. So let's say in this example, we feel 100, 100 new vehicles a month is a, is a very good job. Now we need to set the spread. In this example, we're, we'll use a spread of 14. So basically the message is, in this grid so far, if you're below 70 new vehicles or you're, and or you're below $2,500 a car on new vehicles, both front and back, you're underperforming. So what's the per correct percentage we want to pay? That's up to you. But in this example, we're going to say 3%. Let's determine the correct decrease as our performance declines. If we go 0.15%, we have a range of 2.10 to 3%. You can look at other scenarios and get the one that's correct for you. But in this example, we're going to use 0.15. And you can certainly type in whatever you'd like. Let's set up our pre-owned also. In this example, we'll say that the combined front and back average was $3,500. That's the objective. Let's use the same spread of $299. You could type it in or use the drop-down. They do a few less used cars than new. Let's say $75 a month. Let's do a spread here of uh, 9 because it's lower volume. And in this example, we're not going to pay out the same on the used vehicle grid as we are on the new. We want the primary focus and compensation to come from the new vehicle side for the new vehicle manager. So in this example, we're going to use 1.5. But we're going to do the same spread of 0 0.10 or 0 0.15. Now these def this definition down here and our description of how the grid will pay out, you can type in whatever you like. Keep in mind that the goal here is to create a mathematically derived performance-based pay plan has been proven to be effective and then hand this off to whoever will generate your final pay plan be it your controller, office manager, etc. So if you were to change the wording, type in what you want. If you do like the wording, you merely just put it back. So let's look at the results as far as how it equates to compensation based on what we've established in the two grids. On the new vehicle side, if we max out our grid at 3%, we have the opportunity to earn $9,300. On average, about $6,100, and the lowest percentage in the grid would equate to $3,600. We drop down to the used vehicles at the 1.5, we're at $3,900. And you can see that the low side would be $939. Certainly, a lot more focus would be on the new vehicle front and back profit. Combined, we're talking 2.31% in this example of the total front and back for both new and used vehicles. That would equate to $13,000, $8,300 in the middle, and about forty-five. dollars If these ranges 
are too drastic for you, you merely would adjust them here in the percentage of the grid. So for example, we could do a one point and a one point. You notice that it's lifted the lower side. You could even do less. It's all up to you what you want to do. Now, if we look at the used vehicle, it's identical in structure with the exception of we inverted the focus. Here we want to focus on used vehicle for the used vehicle sales manager, and you would decide the correct amount of weight to set up. No need to set this process up on the, on, on the used vehicle side as it's identical to the new. Now that completes our accelerated sales manager pay plan with Performa tutorial. A very effective and easy to set up pay plan program that will focus your sales managers on the two primary areas they should control, sales volume and gross profit. Best part is you decide on the objective parameters and if appropriate, the correct weight between the new and used or vice versa the used and new vehicles. Thank you.